Alright guys, he's Ink here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So obviously we are deep into, I say deep, it's been a few days, but we are into the midst of the Turtle celebration. And it's been rather positive quite, I want to say it's been quite positive so far. People are pretty happy, the units are good, the deals for summoning are good, we've got pity and stuff like that. But people's minds are already jumping to what's next okay and obviously people now want to know when we are going to receive the next set of turtles that's going to be donatello and Raphael. now we actually do know because the date is out there let me show you just now when these units are coming to the game so we're over here on the Crunchyroll website, okay? Um, this isn't just some random place that I've gone to. I'll bring this down a little bit so you can see. This is actually Crunchyroll's own page and they've got some details up about this turtle celebration, okay? So you can see here, get ready for Shellshock because the latest Street Fighter Duel collaboration has Crunchyroll Games Mobile RPG teaming up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It all starts when Leonardo and Michelangelo join the fight on April 17th, as we know. Followed by Raphael and Donatello on May the 15th, okay? Now I've not looked to see if there's any other additional information that maybe potentially they have leaked in here. But it says here, the collaboration story sees M. Bison teaming up with the Ninja Turtles nemesis Shredder. Now I didn't read the story in great detail, but I don't remember seeing Bison. Um, I don't remember seeing Bison. So I don't know if this is maybe like some spoilers for part two, which there's something else I'll mention, might lead us into what's maybe going to happen in between, okay? So if we check our dates, we can see that the date was the 17th when it started, which would mean that the celebration part one would end on the first, okay? With the rest of the celebration then going to kick off on the 15th, okay? So that would leave two entire weeks, okay? Now, I'm going to jump back to the game just now, right? Now, if we jump back to the game and we check the patch notes and we go to update notes, this is where things get interesting, right? So, if you look down here, you'll see that obviously we are in the midst right now of doing effigy battle warm-up, so to speak, right? An effigy battle is going to run until the 8th of the 5th, okay? So that will take care of one week of the celebration, of the gap period, okay? Now, you guys who pay attention will know this is different than normal, okay? What would normally happen is, on this event period we have just now, when we're due to get effigy, what would normally happen is the second week of the event, you would do your effigy warm up, right? And then what would happen is there would be a maintenance. And after the maintenance, effigy starts. And along with effigy, you normally would get a divination unit or something like that, right? And then for the two weeks, between events, you would do effigy. And at the end of effigy, you would, well, the second week of effigy, you would have a countdown. And at the end of that countdown, you would start your new event. That's how things normally work, right? But the way this event's going to work is we've got obviously effigy build up week one. Week two, we're going to be doing effigy. Then, presumably, we'll have a maintenance, one week of effigy, and then nothing, and then the new event, okay? That is very unusual, and I am wondering now if they are actually going to be doing something that I kind of find crazy, but at the same time, there is little sprinklings of stuff out there that suggest that maybe this is what we could be expecting. Now, there's a video doing the rounds. I'm not going to show that video, but there is a video doing the rounds of a unit who is on this wall, okay? And it's a unit that people would probably want, okay? There's not many units left on this wall that we don't have. And I would say that one of these units would be far more desirable as a unit than the other unit. And they're standing right next to each other, okay? Now, 
there's a video doing the rounds that was in the files, and usually that means that something could be soon that suggests that maybe this unit is coming soon. Now, the fact that we are now talking about this unit potentially being part of the story, I'm wondering if the reason that they've done this, the reason that we've got effigy build up, first week of effigy, and then maintenance, I'm actually wondering if we're still going to get a countdown next week. But the countdown is not going to be for part two of the Turtles. It'll be part, it'll be actually a countdown for a new special summon unit. And then we're just going to go straight into another event. And then after that event, straight into the Turtles, right? Now, some of you might think that sounds crazy. How are you going to summon all these units, okay? You're not, right? Don't worry about that. If that is what they do, that is literally the biggest win that we can get as players. Because... If that is what they do, then you would have your rewards from this. You would hopefully, if it's what they do, go into another event, get rewards from that. Summon, don't summon, it's up to you. Then part three or part two, go in and do the rest of the turtles. You've got the one-to-one -one exchange. Any tickets that you get, they'll be yours. You get to use them, like the red tickets, convert them, use them. And you'll be able to summon for the turtles. Now, this makes sense to me for a number of reasons, right? But one of the big reasons is when a two week period between the turtles, one, not having a week of content is just odd, right? But two, if you follow your normal strategy of releasing a divination unit, who is going to actually summon that divination unit? No one. No one's going to spend to get a divination unit knowing fine well that the second part of the collab's about to come. If they were to drop a much anticipated character who is huge in Street Fighter lore, would people potentially summon for that character? I want to say yes, even though they should know that you can just wait and get them after the event. People will still be compelled to go for it so it would be more attractive than just simply dropping a divination unit right now it might not be that it might not be that but like i said this video is doing the rounds i'm not going to show it right like there's literally people on the discord who have changed their avatar to this person right so all i'm saying is it could very well be that right and Guesswork will be taken out of the equation next week because there'll be a countdown. If it's going to happen, there will be a countdown, right? But if it's not going to happen, I don't know what they're going to do for the two weeks because it's going to be a Turtles finishes, two week gap between the Turtles finishing and the next Turtles starting, okay? And they've taken what would normally fill that two week period and shunted it. So you've got this dead space, okay? They do not have a problem running Effigy during an event. We're doing it now, right? It's going to be live next week. So it would mean that they don't have a problem launching a new event while Effigy is running. So while it would be highly, I don't want to say unusual, I guess different would be the better way of putting it because it's never happened before. But just because it's never happened before doesn't mean that it's not going to happen <laughs> is I suppose the, the best way to put things um, but it does seem pretty feasible going with dates going with what what's potentially been mined and, and shown that come next week the 24th we could see a countdown we could and again even if we don't which I kind of hope we do but even if we don't, it's still a massive win that we're getting this gap because depending on where you're placed within the game, and I know everyone's different here, right? It's a win for me. I'll be straight up. It's a win for me, right? Because if the Turtles Part 2 isn't going to come until the 15th of May, it's going to be, that means that we're going to have a showdown next week. So the Whoa, the 21st it would start the Sunday usually starts so we'd have a showdown on the 21st we would have a showdown on the 5th 
that's a whole bunch of red tickets for those of you who can compete in Showdown. It's a whole bunch of red tickets, right? If you've got the turtles done already, you've got whatever you can potentially farm from this event, you've got your daily red tickets, you're going to have another countdown, 100% now, right? When we were talking before about maybe we'll do a, another countdown, we now know you're going to do another countdown because there's going to be that gap, there's 100% going to be another countdown, right? If that unit that is circulating, if he does happen to come out between these two events, that's going to be another countdown, more red tickets, more starlight. A lot of you will be thinking, wait, how am I going to summon that unit? Again, you don't need to worry about it. They're not going to go anywhere. You can just grab them later. They don't seem to have a problem with that. It's these guys they want you to buy in on. So the two poten potential scenarios are we either go in absolutely stacked for part two and Top Joy, in my opinion, have just absolutely smashed this, or we get a gap waiting, giving us a chance to build up a few more tickets if those avenues are available to you and if we get the same pity, which why wouldn't we? And we get the same rewards, again, why wouldn't we? Why would we get 80 odd tickets, 90 tickets in this celebration and not get the same in the next one? I think we've absolutely smashed it out of the park. So, we know for a fact now it's coming on the 15th. Just reading between the lines of they're talking about in the celebration Bison, maybe maybe they did talk about Bison in the story, I just don't remember seeing Bison's picture popping up at any point while I was playing, I, I really don't, um, but the fact that they're talking about that, I don't remember seeing Shredder either, I don't think we would see Shredder, I think he's maybe not licensed, but Bison's definitely licensed and I do not remember seeing his image at any point during the story. The fact that he's been mentioned in this promotional material, the fact that there's a unit circulating. I don't know. I think there's a chance, at least a chance, that the reason for the odd shifting of the effigy is maybe because we're literally going to go event ending, event starting, event ending, part two. I think that's actually got a good shot of potentially being what happens. We'll see though, we'll see. But we do know for a fact that this is going to start on the 15th of May. It's plenty of time plenty of breathing room and if they do happen to sandwich an event in there there's going to be plenty of tickets we'll see what happens if you've seen the thing I'm talking about if you're members of discords and stuff you'll probably have seen it it's not a big surprise let me know in the comments down below do you think this is feasible? I do and honestly we'll find out in a matter of what one, two, three, four, five days that's all we need to wait, because if it's going to happen, there's going to be a countdown next week. So, let's see if that's actually going to be the case. I am crossing my fingers that it is. I am. Not going to lie, there'll be loads of videos for me, so it's unusual lately that I get a chance to do lots of videos for Street Fighter, because content is thin on the ground, but that will be an opportunity. So I'm up for that all the way. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I have been hazing, I have been rambling, but... Turtles, part two, 100% confirmed, we're going to be getting it, and it's going to be coming on, as you can see it right here, just to confirm, one last time, the 15th of May, and again, official source, coming straight from the horse's mouth, it's coming from Crunchyroll, so it's amazing how they can put this on the website, but they can't tell us in game, and do you know what, just, just so that you guys can see this as well, They've told other people. <laughs> you can go to Game Hub, you can see it. If you go down, you'll see. Where is it? 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 There you go. 16th. Oh, wait, that says the 16th. Did that other one say the 16th? I thought it said the 15th. Crunchyroll directly say. It said the 15th. 15th. Maybe it's a, a regional thing. I don't know. Maybe it's a regional thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, it could just be a regional thing, but... Wait, wait a minute, what day is the 15th? Did I double check this? The 15th is a Wednesday. 16th is a Thursday. Nah, it's going to be the 15th. If we don't get updates on a Thursday, they come on a Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, the 15th. Even though some dates are saying the 16th, this is information that's gone out directly from Crunchyroll to these companies. 
to advertise the game, which is nice. This one says the 15th as well. So there you go, officially confirmed by Crunchyroll, not to us directly, just by proxy. We are going to be seeing the Turtles dropping part two in the 15th or on the 15th. That's it. Take it to the bank. Catch you in the next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye bye.